Hi there, this is Achilles from uh, Sangord Audio Lab Greece and today we're going to talk about sidechaining gates. First of all, what is sidechain? To put it simple, if you have an external signal and you use this to control an effects that is being applied to another signal, then you're sidechaining things. Also, what is a gate? A gate is a one of the most common dynamic processors and it works like this. You set up a threshold and if, if the incoming signal's amplitude is below the threshold, then you have no sound. The gate remains closed. Now, if the incoming signal's amplitude is above the threshold, the gate opens and then you have sound. Sidechaining gates is using an external signal to control when the gate is open for another signal. All right, let's go and see all of this in Cubase. This is the project we're going to work with. Here's a channel with some keyboards. Pretty simple and lame. Then we have a bus line. A snare, hi hat and overheads, and then there's a kick bass. Now let's listen all of them all together. Yes, I know it's pretty lame and simple, but it's good enough for this exercise. Now let's focus on the keyboards. It's just two chords, continuous sound. And what we're going to do now is to side chain it with our kick bass. So select the chords channel. Open it and insert a gate plugin. I'm going to use the stock gate from Steinberg. As you can see, it works now like a normal gate. That means that the incoming signal is our keyboards. We're going to change that now. Find the side chain option, here it is, and enable it. Next step, go to the kick based channel, this is it, and we're going to send the kick base signal to the gate insert of our keyboards. Enable it, you can choose here between post fader or pre fader, I'm sending the post fader. So without changing any of the parameters, you can listen already that uh, the kick bass controls the gate of our keyboards. But there are many parameters to play and experiment with. Most important parameter is the attack. We want a fast attack time so that when the kick kicks in, the gate opens instantaneously. Then the threshold. If you decrease the threshold too much, then the gate remains for too long open. We don't want that. You see? What we are trying to achieve is every kick to trigger our keyboards. That's it. I think we are perfect now. That's the hot spot for me. And now we can play with the sustain time of the keyboards with the hold parameter that controls the duration that uh, 
the gate remains open after it is enabled. And then of course we have the release knob which controls the gradual closing of the gate. And that way you can manipulate the tail of every hit. Ok, perfect. Mission accomplished. That was it guys, hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. We're going to see more side chaining techniques in the future. Many interesting things you can do with uh, side chain. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed this lesson and uh, see you soon. Cheers.